Hey, what's up? Well, I'm back again, back with another video, finally, a talking video. And oh my goodness, is it already, oh my gosh, is it already Sunday? Oh my gosh, we're one day from Memorial Day, which I think is Monday, May 29th or something like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we're already Memorial Day weekend. And here I am. In the laundry room making a video you know just hiding from my dad who is asleep and you know I just don't get to make a lot of videos anymore and it's not because I don't want to it is simply because like I do not have time I literally have no time to really think about you know the stuff that I used to make videos on I mean it's just you know it's like I, I literally I mean, I'm, I'm lucky if I can remember what day it is before the day is done. You know what I'm saying? It's like days just fly on by. And of course, I'm wearing my patriotic stuff. You know, I at least know when the holidays are nigh. And, um, you know, so it's Memorial Day weekend. We're already almost June. Um, and unfortunately, I am into my last month of my 30s. And that has given me a sense of urgency about everything I do. Like, whatever I don't get done, you know, within the next couple weeks or so, or it's less than three weeks now, isn't it? Something like that. Um, whatever I don't get done very soon will not happen in my 30s. And that is very sad. You know, 10 years ago, it was my 20s. And then 10 years before that, it was, of course, my teens. And I felt very depressed around that time when I was turning 20 because I would no longer be a teenager by any definition. And um, so, you know, life is very depressing, very sad. Um, you know, I'm going to be in my 40s. And so, you know, that, that just sounds really old for a woman. Um, men think they're just getting started at that age. And, um... They just generally don't care much about anything anyway. So, um, life is very frustrating because I'm not with my mom. And, um, you know, I just, just wanted to talk about a number of things. I don't know where to even begin. But it's like, I no longer make videos, hardly ever, except the moon through my telescope. And it has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, just... Just the subject matters that I used to be so obsessed with are just no longer even a thought, hardly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't I don't have to exercise great restraint every Friday or whenever it plays not to watch Rugrats because I simply do not have time to think about it. And we don't even have the kind of TV. You know, we have TV, but then we don't. It's very complicated. Um, I mean, I guess I could probably find a way to watch it, but I just simply, the interest isn't there. Just flat out isn't there. And um, hasn't been there. And what is it? Is it already two years? Oh my gosh, two years since they rolled out the CGI Rugrats. And I said, I'm not getting Paramount Plus for that. Um, just, just so hard to believe how time is just flying and you know oh my gosh it's gonna be 20 years since that movie that kind of defined my channel you know the first few videos and all that the first few dozen and oh my gosh is it gonna be 20 years old in June right before my birthday yeah because I turned 20 about a week later after it came out in theaters and um my mom basically said that she wasn't going to waste a dime to see it or for us to see it. That it was crap. Um, but you know, that movie is going to be 20 years old. Oh my gosh. And the show had already been around for 12 years at that point. So, 32 years. Um, you know, and I just think... You know, it's just, it's become impossible for me to enjoy it anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's like however much I may have enjoyed it in the past or looked forward to it or whatnot. 
I just no longer do because, you know, it's just like so many things. It's like, um, I just now see it in a light that makes it impossible to enjoy. And, you know, it, it's kind of an amazing thing how, you know, when I was a teenager and my teachers were about my age, and then even when I was a 20-something and there were other people in my age group online, and I can remember just being very angry at them when they'd voice their opinion about how they didn't like Rugrats and they didn't allow their kids to watch it. I probably said this way too many times, and it's like I thought they were... You know, what's the matter with these people? Why wouldn't they want their kids to see such a cute little show? You know, a cute little innocent show. And they would always make up excuses, you know, especially the women. Um, oh, well, they just whine a lot. And I don't want my kids to see bad behavior on TV and emulate it. When the truth was something a bit deeper, you know, and they didn't want to go into it because they're afraid to sound like a bigot. Even back then, um... But now it's like, now that I've gotten into that age group, it's like, now I understand, you know what I'm saying? And it's just amazing. And now it's like the tables have turned, you know, how they have all these young 20-something men, you know, that actually think it's something special or unique or wonderful for men to be immature and want to express, you know, a childish nature you know, in their 20s and all that, they actually think that's something special. Um, when really it's as old as the hills, you know, hence Peter Pan being male, um, which I have no intention of seeing that either. And um, the only thing that tempts me is, of course, the dolls, and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, but now that I'm in that age group, you know, pushing 40, it's like amazing how, you know, just within the past five years, how I went from still thinking it was a cute show and I had fond memories of it, you know, as soon ago as age 35. But then every year as I got closer to my 40s, it's like I just saw something negative about it, you know, that I've discussed in so many videos. And it's like, wow, you know, those teachers were right. You know, they weren't just prudes. I mean, they were on to something. Um, now I see it as insulting to women, you know, because it's like, um, it's, it's basically saying that women have immature vocal cords. And I didn't know it at the time, but it contributed to the dysphoria that I felt about being a girl because I saw myself as an underdeveloped or incomplete male. You know, for having a higher voice. And basically, the show is very insulting to women. You know, I used to think that was cool. You know, how a woman could pass for a little child of either sex. But um, now I've come to realize, you know, that women are not immature males. Um, just like males are not immature females for being flat-chested all their lives. Um, you know, we just mature in different ways. And it just... You know, I've just come to see it as very insulting to women to have this show where, you know, basically all the children are voiced by women. Um, and it's like men are okay with hearing a woman talk about poop so long as she's either referring to a male or impersonating a male. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to talk about poop, but you have to be playing the role of a male character or you have to be talking about the bodily functions of a male. You know what I'm saying? Not your own if you're playing a female character. Um, and I guess, you know, this is already a long video, but what I really wanted to get around to talking about is, um, I don't know what to title this vi video, but I guess I could call it the burden of proof. Um, but, you know, even after all this time, it's like I'm still not, I'm, I'm not backing down. You know, I still believe what I do. As I've stated before, you know, if I were going to change what I believe about the subject, I'm going to believe that she was not, that Angelica was not ever toilet trained in Rugrats. And that she just didn't talk about her bodily functions because as a female character, you know, I mean, of course they're not going to show what she did, you know. I mean, when does a female show you what she did in the toilet on a show? You know what I'm saying? You just don't see something like that.
especially not a female character. Um, but, you know, if I'm going to change what I believe about the subject, I'm going to believe that she was never toilet trained at all in the whole series, and that that whole damn movie was, you know, created around that fact. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll never change what I believe. The title will always be Angelica Pooped Herself in my mind. You know, I believe, you know, that, you know, just, just, I mean, you could get that just from looking at a picture, FFS. I mean, you could just see a picture to represent that movie and never actually see the movie. And you could see, you know, that just the way that she's dressed, you know, indicates that for some reason she removed her clothing. You know, is that normal for Angelica? Not really. Um, you know, that's the only way it makes sense. Um, and I'll never stop believing what I believe. I just wish that I hadn't posted so much to the internet. Because, see, that's what I'm looking back on and thinking, you know, I really didn't have to post that or type that. You know what I'm saying? It's like I could have kept it in my head. Um, that's what I regret. You know, I don't, like, if you, you, if you really wanted to shake my belief in what I've said, you know, you would have to, I mean, it would be much more easy to do that if you try to say, oh no, she just peed in her clothes. She didn't poop. She peed. You know, then that would have some validity. You know what I'm saying? But trying to say, oh no, it was the protagonist, not the antagonist. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was Tommy. Well, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You know, there is no more reason to believe that Tommy did it than there is to believe that the other babies did it. You know, why not say Dill? Why not say Bill and Will? You know, why not say Kimmy? Um, so anyway, enough about that subject. I'm really sick of it. And I will block anyone who tries to, um, debate with me. And I will not allow comments. But, you know, it's Memorial Day and that movie's almost 20. And another thing real quick that I wanted to talk, wanted to touch on in this video, if I have time... It's the word soil. You know, I haven't really talked about that. I mean, <laughs> you know, I really hate the word soil in that context. The reason I was thinking about that is because I do a little bit of gardening. And my dad has gotten into gardening. And one thing you have to buy is soil. And what really makes me mad is when... I know I've probably done it in the past and I'm trying to change that. Um, but I really hate it when people use the word soil in that context. Because I feel like it denigrates soil, you know, which is a wonderful thing in a garden. And it downplays the significance or the severity of someone doing that. You know what I'm saying? I like the word that's like if you took out oil. I like the other S word. You took out oil and traded it for hit. Like I'm going to hit somebody in the face if they use soil in that context. How dare they soil soil? You know what I'm saying? Soil is a good thing. Every um, terrestrial planet is covered in soil, including Mars and the moon. It's called regolith. Um, but soil is a very necessary and wonderful thing. And so to use that, you know, I just hate language that's euphemistic like that. I hate the word soil, mess, dirty. You know what I'm saying? Because it isn't specific to that bodily function. I like the SH word. And also like defecate or poop or, you know, words that are very specific to that bodily function. Um, you know, because it, to me, you know, the SH word is the only word strong enough to convey the anger that a mom would feel if her child did that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't like words that downplay it like, oh, you just got your clothes a little bit dirty, so what? You know, because soil can refer to, you know, just touching a white shirt with spaghetti on your hands. You know what I'm saying? It just means you got something a little bit dirty. Um, so I don't like that word. And also, you know, same thing with vomiting. Um, I like the word vomit, puke, barf. I hate the word throw up and hurl. Because, I mean, you could be throwing a ball up into a net. Or you could be hurling something. At someone. You know what I'm saying? I don't like language that's euphemistic or vague like that. I don't like throw up and hurl. And I don't like soil. Um, so, you know, I just want to touch on that real quick. I could say a lot more, but, you know, kind of running out of time here. And my dad will get up any minute. So, yeah, I don't like the word soil. 
and I don't like people who are euphemistic because it makes it sound like you don't really think it's all that bad to do it on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you use that word soil, you know, in that context, it's like you, you just think it's the same as getting a little dirt on your clothes. So what? Big deal. It washes right out, except that it doesn't. No, I've never done it. Um, so, yeah, it's like, you know, I just, you know, and, and so... And, and like I said, you know, the more I think about it, the more steadfast I am in my belief about what she did in that movie. Because, you know, I think the whole movie was planned around that, not the other way around. You know what I'm saying? I think they downplayed it, you know, to something that could easily be edited out. And if you watch it in the standard screen, you know, where it chops off the sides, it's almost like a censored version. You know, it cuts out her face, which is basically the proof that it's her um, the look on her face, you know, and as I've said before, you know, it wouldn't matter if another character also did it. Um, you know, that's like saying that, like, Lars did not crap his pants in Rocket Power. Well, I like that word too, crap. Um, it was one of his friends, you know, Pie or Sputz. Well, that would not negate what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, other characters doing it would not negate her having done it. So anyway, tired of that subject. It's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. And I'll go ahead and post this video.